Hi, welcome to the April vlog. What is going on? Is my camera focused? What's up? This is Lee in quarantine, April vlog. But I've still been working on putting my shop update together. If you watched my last vlog, I showed a lot of things that I'm going to be adding to my shop at an undetermined, an undetermined date. I don't know what I've been doing. I can't even tell you what I've done in the last month. Cause I, I don't even know how much time has passed. So yeah, I've been sketchbooking. I did this sketchbook spread today. She's springy, there's some bunnies, there's a, I think this could be a pigeon or a dove. I also um, worked on this. Did I work on this in this vlog? I don't even know when I did this. I thought, um, here's the thing. Everyone's doing that six fan art, fan art thing. And I was like, dude, I wanna do that. But I have no, um, like, I'm not familiar with drawing people, if you haven't noticed, and I don't really ever do fan art, but I was like, I'm gonna try just a few, just for me, and see if I can do this. And I almost immediately, immediately gave up. I did Shikamaru first. I'm wearing a Naruto shirt and showing you this, which is kind of embarrassing. Um, and I kind of liked it. And then I, I did Kakashi and I was like, uh. and then I did Nausicaa, which is my favorite Ghibli movie. And I was like, I can do this. Um, no, no, I couldn't. That's the thing. Sure, they're fine. Do I want to share them? No, am I on the vlog? Yeah. <laughs> and then I used a reference and got uh, Nausicaa's body here. And then I did the background and potato over here and that was fun. It was like a coloring book. It was very fun. I enjoyed doing this. So I did give up on the six fan art thing. Maybe I'll come back to it and I could do like animal fan art, but I don't want to. As I've been putting together my new shop update, I said in my last vlog I wanted to make mini stickers and I did. I made um, a set of mini red themed stickers just a collection of old designs that I never really made anything into or they were gifts. I don't know, there's just a collection that I made red and mini. And I received them, received them from sticker app and I put them together in my hand and usually I ship stickers in an envelope loose with a business card because I just, I try to not use a lot of packaging to save materials and not be wasteful. But these little stickers, are wild. They're small, they run away. I don't even know where they go. They're just so tiny. So I got these little tiny glycine, glassine, I don't know how to say it. But I got little envelopes and I've been putting them in there and taping um, them shut with all five of the little red stickers so they don't wander off because they're mini and can literally go anywhere. That's kind of what's been up with me. Have I done any more sketching? Did I do this during this vlog? I don't know, I drew some fish. This is pretty unfinished. Um, and also I did this sketchbook spread. Did I do it during this vlog? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Does anyone know what time it is? What day it is? Leave it in the comments. But um, that's what's up, y'all. I'm gonna... Um, pack up the rest of my orders and head off to the post office. It's my post office day of the week. I do know what day that is. I can landmark that per week. So see ya.
I'm too lazy to move the camera, so I'm gonna film sitting like this. You can see my back in the mirror and it's perfect. I actually would probably choose this. It's Sunday. I just packed a bunch of orders because I've been going to the post office on Monday or Tuesday, so I'm trying to hit that Monday. I can't believe how many orders I packed, first off. Last week I packed orders for just the whole week, and it was a normal amount of orders, like one bag full, like that's where I'm usually at. But this week I have two full bags, and it took me like two days to pack all these orders. And I just can't figure out why I got so many. Which is, I so thank you for all my customers and supporters, it's so cool. But I also can't figure out why. I didn't advertise anything, I didn't add anything to my shop. My only idea was that I'd been posting on YouTube and that YouTube can help me? YouTube? That's my idea. Anyways, I just made some seconds prints packs. So I have a bunch of prints that I print at home and they have like little damages, little like spots or they have cut a little bit weird or the color is off. So I always sell those at a discounted rate, like packs of three prints and put them in my shop. So I'll put those in my next shop update to be announced. Not sure yet. That's all. So I'll see you later. This angle is awesome. I'm only gonna be filming from this angle from now on, like this, crouching, sitting. Okay, see ya. Stamps 
on my Patreon reward envelopes, my Patreon postcards. As I always say, I get my postcards made by Moo. I love Moo.com, they're great. But here is the Patreon reward postcard for the month. It's the St. Bernard spread. And there's the back. I uh, think it's pretty cute. And the sticker. I was initially going to put these stickers in my shop, but I decided to make them the Patreon reward this month. I may have some extras that I can put in my shop. I ordered a bunch of stamps from the USPS because they're struggling right now and uh, I needed them, but I bought extras. I had them mailed to me and I usually never do this because they come in these freaking plastic bags and each one individually. It is so stupid but I will keep the bags and reuse them for packaging stuff of my own. But like, it, it's so stupid. But I've been really loyal to these frog stamps. If you're a patron of mine, patron, patron, not a Patreon. If you're a patron of mine, you probably have seen these if you are within the United States. I love these frog stamps. I love them so much. I'm, I'm holding them upside down. They're great because the design is cute, one, and they're double-sided. I love that they're double-sided. I don't always love the double-sided designs. I also bought these. I didn't buy as many of these, but they do donate a portion of the cost of these to endangered species. So I got some tangies because I love tangies. Um, oh, and as another update, I've already talked about this with my patrons and I guess I'm obsessed with talking about them, but that's kind of all I've been doing. Um, I think I'm going to update my shop just for the United States and Canada. <laughs> Anyways, um, that was my idea to just do US and Canada for the shop update and then whatever sold out I could update it again for international shipping once postal services get their stuff back together and you know there's not a virus taking over the world. Um, because I'm sitting on all of these products and I just want to get them in my shop. I, Oh, it just seems kind of silly to be sitting on them and I can just remake them. So that's kind of where I'm headed. I think I might update it at the end of this week or this coming week sometime. No idea. My birthday is tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be super fun, guys.
What's going on? It's Thursday, maybe. But I got dressed today and put on makeup. And let me tell you, it's been a month since I've put makeup on. And it's just one of those things where you look at yourself and you're like, who could that be? Who could that be? But we're just gonna pretend like I feel totally normal. So as I was saying, I am updating my shop tomorrow. I am only going to be opening my shop to the United States, keep the postal service local-ish, and then once everything settles down, you know, and the postal services come back together, not sure when that will be, I will restock these same things if they get sold out for international orders. So it'll all be good. It'll all be good. I also started this painting, as you saw, and will I finish it? I don't know, will I pretend like it's finished and leave it like this? Probably. The fun part about it was I don't have any yellow paint or white acrylic paint. So I used a gesso for white and I used um, some really old gouache that my mom gave me that's at least 30 years old for the yellow. So. It was really fun. I enjoyed painting that. Cody is snoring so loud right now. So before I leave, I'm just gonna show you what's gonna be added. I kind of showed you in my last vlog, but here's a refresher. Why not? I am artist stickers are coming to the shop along with the sticker sheet from my Patreon rewards last month. The current Patreon reward stickers will be in there too. I have some extras I'll throw in the shop. And then the mini sticker set, which is in this cute little envelope I talked about earlier. And then the three prints I talked about on my last vlog will be in there. There's a toad and a little garden scene and this bunny. They will all be added to the shop. And then... The long-awaited sketchbook postcard set. A set of 10 sketchbook scan postcard sets. And that's it. And if, I, if I'm forgetting a product that I'm adding, you'll find out elsewhere. But thank you for watching the vlog. I hope you liked it. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. One last shout out to my patrons. Thank you for keeping me afloat during this crazy time. Your support is crazy. The community on there is so awesome and I'm just happy to be a part of it. So, thank you. And that's it. I'm gonna sign the freak off this vid and bye.